Hey guys. Hello, Governor. Welcome back to Wild Arms. Um, last time, we found out that uh, Rudy's a robot. Dun, dun, dun. Indeed, and so now everybody's. Oh, yeah, we can just we can just warp there. Um, we're supposed to head for Rosetta now to see if that that girl Mariel can help. Exactly how she can help. Well, we're not quite sure yet. Gonna build him a new arm, man. Right, his arm got like... Yeah, yeah, his arm got cut off and then that's when they discovered he was a robot. Poor Rudy. <laughs> so yeah, as, so as you can see, he's he's also comatose, so that's why he's he's out of commission for the time being. Aren't they like carrying him around or something? Supposedly. Um, were you her or was I? I have no idea. What? How? Rudy, his arm. What's happening? Jack and Cecilia tell Mariel everything up to this point in their adventure. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> you love it when games do that. <laughs> Five hours later. Uh, well, whatever. Use the, use the herbs and the pain will go away. This is benefit of the life within metal body that you possess, Rudy. Life within metal? How would you know, Mariel? It is a thousand-year-old sin. Or it is a... Uh, the metal that has been conscious. As you know, the demons have machines for their own bodies. The Irids and humans dared to step into their realm and play God. If this was a small wound, I could do something about it with herbs. But to replace a lost arm. Nowhere in Fulgaia can you recreate life within metal. Again. Uh, maybe if it were a thousand years ago, maybe then. Time travel. Get the DeLorean! Oh no. Rudy's arm could have been. One thousand years ago? In Filgaya? How can you. Let's go to the temple in the forest mound. AKA the Forest Temple. Deep in the <laughs> deep in that forest, the Ools left a gift. Oh great, it's not a time machine, is it? We're gonna have Of course every game's gotta have a time travel plot, doesn't it? Uh yeah, that's what makes it cool, man. Didn't you know? be even better if they actually did get in a DeLorean, though. Just saying. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I could... Did we ever go back to uh, Jack's starting location and do that thing? Uh, we have not yet, but um, I guess we could go do that anytime, but... Um... We haven't learned the word yet, or something? Technically not, no. Okay. I wasn't sure when that was coming up, or... If it was something you had to, like, optionally, like, talk to so-and-so in the back corner of the bar, and they, like, mentioned something, and you had to... <laughs> like, if it was that obscure, you oh. know? It's still, it's still pretty obscure. You probably wouldn't know the password when you 
first see it, but... But it's not that bad. Meet the old man Maybe. at the waterfall. <laughs> the Ewells left Filgaia after the war with the Daemons. Had ended. <clears throat> uh, we Ewells normally live in the far forest after the war. The land was no longer suitable for us. Oh, she's reading a book. I thought she was, like, gonna pull some weird shit on us. So we created this realm called the Ul Dimension. We used the last of our power to move this land to another dimension. We closed the gates and this became our new home. There, you can still see Filgaia of a thousand years ago. And this is the gate that connects the Ooh world to, to Filgaia. So they're all, like, still around. Sounds that the, way. In the other dimension. Yeah. So it's kind of like a Star Ocean 3 kind of thing going on. Yeah. We couldn't budge this thing even with a cannon. Maybe the gate broke because of a thousand years of inactivity. That wouldn't be good for Rudy. Uh, this gate operates on the Ool's heart and life energy. Ah! The Ool live by bonds. James bonds. <laughs> we bond to time in order to live an eternal life. We bond to the land to enjoy nature. We will gladly give up everything to bond with those who we believe in. Hey, Ragnats, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Rudy saved my life in this forest. Now it's my turn to repay him. Well, he saved a flower. Did she just, like, straight up kill herself? Oh, no. she did. Please no. don't leave the out. It kind of sounds like she does. Sounds like she's dying. The best thing can... Wait, what? The Elu Dimension's a replica of Hilgaia a thousand years ago. What just happened? Wait a uh, minute, Tanya, hold the phone. We got transported. <laughs> yeah, but when we instantly got transported, she was standing up looking at the map all fine. <laughs> Did you <laughs> notice that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good job, Sony. Hey, Mariel? Mariel, she, she's bleeding, bleh, bleeding badly. We need to treat her now. Is Rudy back in the party? Yep, well, no. He can, like, one-arm this. this. <laughs> There's greenery! Well, yeah, the place is actually, uh... Actually looks pretty nice. It's not it garbage. Say, there's, oh. The humans have activated the gate! And they're here? Came to ask for your help. We humans want nothing to do with you foolish humans. Please leave. We have people wounded here. Only you can help cure them. One of the wounded is an Elu girl. Please let us in. She's the child of a criminal. There's no reason for us to help her. Go. Go back to your dying world. Wait. We can't risk exposing the gate to other humans. We'll take you to the village. Master Fulcanelli will decide your fate. Oh, crap. Racists. <laughs> Please help, Rudy. Or is she saying, please help, Rudy? Punctuation uh, there. What the hell? He's head banging. <laughs> the hell did you do? I came black. I hit the side. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you want to do him or should oh. I? 
Eskimo. <laughs> Follow me, outsiders from the <laughs> world. That is excellent. I've only got so many voices I can do. <laughs> so having this many characters trying to come up with all these is quite quite difficult. So you want to use our powers to fix this young strapping lad? <laughs> no, Rudy's, well, that was an close. <laughs> Rudy's an important member of the team. We're trying to save the world. Is he the one that kills all the trash mobs for you? The battle with the demons has begun again. Do you trust us, the ones who are more like demons than humans? We have Ellipses. to. <laughs> we have to. Rudy's too important. The whole world needs him. A thousand years ago, we created this machine to combat the demons. The golems are the absolute power. Hold on, grabbing a tea. Yep. Ah! Okay, headphones. Get stuck there, you jerks. Power without heart can be good. Or evil. What I actually meant to say could not be good or evil. They're just tools, but we'll go with that. <laughs> the Elus and the Human Mage. What? Okay. Have reached into the realm of the unknown and create with a new technology. We base this technology on demons we captured. We used living metals and adapted it into human physiology. I hope your throat's gonna be okay after this. No, I'm good, man. It's, good. <laughs> it's cool. That and I got a a, a brisk ass tea with lemon. Ah. Sponsored in part by. <clears throat> in order. Of the, 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 hold on. <clears throat> Let me take a swig of this, actually. <laughs> this is gonna help. You know, it doesn't... It's taxing, but it doesn't hurt, like my macho man. And this tea is frozen, because my mini fridge is very cold. <laughs> it's kind of, like, slushy. It's great. <clears throat> An artificial biometal was created. It was called that <laughs> Home Cross Project. Artificial life that can survive under any conditions. This Home Cross is the ultimate enhancement to many different kinds of arms. It's kind of funny that it's called arms when your friend lost his ha ha ha. It synchronizes with different arms, thus enhancing the psychic power of an arm. This is how and why people believe guns can shoot people of their own accord, because they have psychic powers. <laughs> but the home cross enjoyed killing so much. They literally became a killing machine. Was it the blood of the demons, or was it man's lust for conflict? No one knows for sure, but we're pretty sure it was man, because humans are a bunch of dicks. <laughs> the deploy... The deployed... Uh, hold on. <clears throat> the deployed home cross were destroyed... There is, however, one home cross left. An experimental model was sealed deep underground. Rudy's not a killing machine. He has a bigger heart than anyone I know. The time he spent as a human gave him a pure heart. 
Is that what you're saying? Rudy used to travel with an old man called Zeppet. Zeppet had a kind heart, and it was he who kept Rudy from turning into a weapon. He kept Rudy's heart pure. You're telling me that after a thousand years, this man unleashed the experimental machine, treated it as a child, and somehow it didn't want to kill things. But it's too late. We don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore. It went the way of the iPod classic, much to my dismay. <laughs> then Rudy is... There is nothing we can do but possibly stick a weapon on that arm and make him look super badass. <laughs> Oh, that was me, wasn't it? Hmm, yeah, whatever. The Guardian Blade! Mariel, you must rest. Out of my way, fool. The Guardian Blade has a life of its own. For some reason, I'm now an old woman, <laughs> and I bet its power could... Go to Brother Vasim and use the Guardian Blade on Rudy. What in the world are you saying? The Guardian Blade. It went out. It went out of control and disappeared. But not before it took half of Phil Gaio with it. Wait, who said that? Was that supposed to be the other guy? I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> oh well. Uh, you know the sand ocean that starts from Rosetta and cuts through stone? Get it? Rosetta stone? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, that was the result of the untrained and refined guardian blade of Asim. Mariel stayed here, stayed there alone to pay for her brother's sins. He is working to turn the sand ocean back to normal, but apparently he really sucks at it. We can't afford to make the same mistake. If we do nothing, then that is what Fulgaia will be. Nothing. If we run now, we will live like weaklings for the rest of our lives. I don't want to lose the bond between myself and the people who taught me to be strong. Vesim lives in the forest to the southwest. There... He can live without being exposed to us. He's the only one that can possibly repair the arm. If not, it will be... It will destroy us all. Please, take an old lady with you. I want to share some of what I've learned with him. He likes to stay a while and listen. Do you still want us to make the Guardian Blade? It's going to take a miracle. We have lost much of our technology to time. And utter laziness. <laughs> Miracles only have value if you can do it yourself. It's absolutely true. Miracles don't occur easily. If it can be done, it will probably be done by a human. The guardian of Filgaia is a human. 
I think that was more of like a question. Like he was realizing Soya was like the person, so he was or you know. Yeah, I never got what he meant by that either. I, Please hold I think on. He's talking about her. Our wishes will make you well again. That's kind of like really frustrating that my tea is frozen. Aww. Like the core of it is frozen. <laughs> and it's all these are like that. Alright. Why are they like that? Alright. To the front of the mini fridge, because that seems to keep you from freezing. Like when I put them all the way to the back, they seem to freeze. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. <clears throat> I'm gonna be out of commission for like two minutes while I recover here. Okay, I'm just gonna be uh, exploring this little town first, anyways. Ah, oh, it's so good. The same has turned Fogai into a wasteland. The sinner had to be locked up in the land beyond the forest. So, did he make the blade to fight the demons and then it just backfired? That's what it sounds like, yeah. Because, um,. Remember some of the some of the uh, demons earlier were talking about uh, we're talking about a guardian blade earlier too. Uh, so he made a master sword and it like wrecked the face of the wor world. Ba basically. Yeah, okay. As long as by, we're clear. By the way, safe parrot is now a uh, safe monkey. sloth. Yep. Is that a sloth or a monkey? It looks like a sloth to me. I didn't think sloths were black, though. I thought they were more, like, brownish. Oh, maybe some sloths. Maybe some sloths are black. I don't know. I don't know what this thing... It, it looks like a squirrel with a dog face. It's a durl. Don't look at the things you don't like. Don't do things you don't want to do. This is how we live. What do you think? This is why you lost your technology at clutch. <laughs> the life guardian is still a prisoner inside the forest prison. Okay. This is a change. The humans are visiting our village. Oh, we got Council of Elders here. It must be destiny that the ancient treasures of Filgaia are finally being used. Remember, power without heart is evil. The Forest Prison. It's a prison built for monsters, built by the Elus to trap monsters who infiltrated the Elus world. They go in, but they don't come out. Not all the prisoners are monsters. The Guardian of Life is also trapped in there. Outsiders, I ask of you to release the Guardian of Life. Use this key to open the chest which seals the Guardian. Oh, yeah. So we got a spirit key. Outsiders, what do you want from the world of the Elus? Power? What do you want with power? You can use the teleportation device to travel to any area of Fogaya. Occasional accidents do occur, and sometimes you'll end up in some scary place. During normal operations, though, it works fine. But if you give it any more impact, your risks increase. Okay, that's a hint for a uh, for a bonus dungeon we'll be able to access later. He was referring to the uh, those Elu pyramids that we were using to to warp around the place earlier. Uh huh. Um, apparently, they link to a they can take you to another place, which, like I said, is a uh, will be a bonus dungeon for later. The air and water in this place is the same as it was a thousand years ago. Shouldn't things have changed in such a long period of time? Normally, yes. You could say there are no monsters in the Elu world. We sealed them inside a place far from here, located to the southwest. Far from here. It's like 20 feet that way. Yeah, that's actually... That's actually pretty accurate. Okay, was, it, was that everything here? 
wanted to make sure I at least got that spirit key. Oh, there's a bit more. This is Tarjan, an Elu tribe. This isn't a place for humans. Racist bastard. Ooh, Sunbird hat. I think that's for Jack. Yep. Oh, and I found a, uh, Agile Apple we can give. Uh, yeah, I should give it to Cecilia. Make sure... I want to try to keep her, uh, speed up as high as possible. So that, um... So that she'll be able to heal without, uh... She'll, she'll go first when I want her to heal. <coughs> Healing first is good. Yes. Blue Ribbon. I think that is... Yep. Okay, I think that's everything. We can, uh... We can go ahead towards uh, the Sims. And okay, so this is the this is the Elu world here. What like a, like we pointed out, quite a departure from. It's so pretty. Yes, it is. It's actually uh, kind of reminiscent of the uh, floating continent from Final Fantasy III. Nice new overworld music here, too. So, yeah, the, as they pointed out, there are no random encounters on the, uh, on the overworld here. But here's where we want to head for, and I am not looking forward to this area. The, uh, foreboding-sounding forest prison. That bad? <laughs> oh, yes. This, this place is so we do have we do have some random encounters which uh, are are gonna be a little bit of a problem now that we don't have Rudy in the party for this. Especially with his... Um, Crowd control? Yeah. I'm gonna have to rely on... On Cecilia and Jack, who... They have, they have abilities like that, too, but they cost MP, so... That'll make it a little bit harder. And this area itself is is a bit of a confusing mess of a maze. Okay, this is sort of the... Um, Wouldn't be fun if it was easy, right? <laughs> okay, let me see. I sort of have... I sort of have a map up. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to bring it up without, without messing up the Bandicam window, though. Hmm. You wanna send it to me and I can try and guide you? Um, sure, it's the it's just look you can find it on Game Facts. Um, just Forest Prison Forest Prison map. It's kind of a it's kind of one of those crappy ASCII style maps that some people draw for that, but it was the best quality one I could find. By Tim Tucker? I think so. Uh, Does it say Force Prison Map? Yeah. Um, that should be it then. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of confusing to read. Okay. Let me know what you need me to do. <laughs> okay, so from the entrance, um, I 
should have been the northern entrance. I had, uh, um... Yes. I had gone... I had just gone south from that dog monkey thing. And then, uh... And then I came... I came west a little bit, a little ways. Uh, you should be going... From the dog, you go straight south until you hit a dead end, and then you go... Um, east, it looks like. East, okay. And then there should, after you go east a little ways, there should be a pathway north. If you go north, there should be a, a chest on the... Yep, crust graph. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, if you keep going east a little bit, there should be air. Er, yeah. If you go going east a little bit, there should be another pathway to go north. And then there should be another chest. Oh look, we're fighting Black Sabbath. Is it? That doesn't look like Ozzy Osbourne. But he is gonna start a crazy train. Or we're gonna start one on him if nope, it didn't confuse him. At least I actually uh, found the map you wanted me to this time. Unlike the uh, Final Fantasy IV incident. <laughs> there should be a map. I'm not seeing a map. <laughs> Pulls up map. Oh, that's a map. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Which way do I go from this crossroads? Um. All right. So we just got the crest graph. Yep. Which is that? So we. You just went. I just went east from there. If you go, um, go north, there should be a little thing you can drop down, and there's a chest in there. Yep, the prairie coat. I believe that is for Jack. Right, go east. Do we get these in order? Mm. Probably. Alright. Uh, if you go east and then north, you should eventually make your way... Yep. Now go south again, and then you'll go east. And then you should run into a chest. Okay. What's... Alright, there's a ledge there. Okay. Well, that's problematic. Um... Alright, go back... 
toward where the Mirage Coat was. So go west and then north, and then you'll go east and then south. Yeah, that was my computer. My bite. Unfortunately, there's no boss in this place, so I'm not too worried about going through our magic points. Well, the game's not that mean. Nah. Okay. Another crossroads. Did we grab that? We grabbed our Mirage Coat, right? Correct. Alright, so you went up, and then you went east. Mm -hmm. Go south. And then uh, west. That high blast is working really well. Do I keep going south? No, at the next one you go west. Okay. And then you should hit a wall and then go north. Yep, go north. Okay. Well this is the this is the chest that I needed the spirit key to unlock. Was that was that the right place? Uh yes. Okay. And then if you go, keep, keep, nope. Oh. Uh, go back. Hold on, it's it's doing this on its own. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, I know what this is. Um, let me just go grab this first real quick. Okay. I am Odor, you, guardian of life. Innocent one from Fogaya, receive my gift. I shall cast the light upon your dwindling faith. Either in eternity or mortality, my powers are never absolute. Take my powers, shaman, for I am the guardian of life. Let me get the life rune. How does that what does that do for you, Cecilia? Strength goes up, but magic goes down. Oh, okay. Give it to Jack then. Okay, back to the back to the chest here. And you said go north. Yeah, there's a way you can run around the other side. Oh, and he healed us. To full too. That was nice of him. Big pimp and unicorn man.
Ah, see viewers, I can multitask just fine. Hex, yeah. Another press graph and a save point. Yup, yup. Mmm, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. Quit moving around. Ah, okay. Let's see what that is. Okay, so that was a... Aha! Okay. Uh, go north. And then you're gonna go... From, from here? To the previous screen before this one. Yeah, you're gonna go north there. Like, not where the dude was, but before that. And then you're gonna go west. I'll look or you're gonna go east and then south. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Go north, east, and then west. Wait, south. Uh, north, east, south. south. North, east, south. Okay. Oh, look, the gobbledygooker's back. Back and he's pissed. <laughs> Flame tongue. Crap, man. Really pissed. Sicilian's gonna need heals after this. Yeah, she'll be alright. She'll be eight. Give our new summon a shot. Oh, it's so pretty. And I think that is a full party heal. Yep. Better be. Yeah, it's right. a pretty nice one too. There we go. I'm sorry, that was north, east, south. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh-oh. Oops. I seem to have closed the map like an idiot. <laughs> okay, uh, I found another uh, crust graph in there. You found a what in the what? Another crust graph in the chest. The is that at? Oh. Okay, well that was wrong. How'd you get there? <laughs> huh. I know, like I said, the way the... The way the paths loop around in this place makes it very hard to navigate without a map. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that was right, that was right. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I... Okay, um... From here, go back. You can only go the one way, so go back north. Yeah, you're here. I was thinking you were over there. It's like, what? Spoiler alert, the next item is a crest graph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I got confused. It's like, Because <laughs> the way it's laid out, yeah. 
the word. Did you get the uh, thumbnails? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. I just have to go back and uh, apply them to my previous videos. Okay, so back up, back north. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Uh, then which way? Um, go east. So I'm assuming you're here. You should be here. There should be a path south coming up. Okay. I head that way, I presume. Uh, yes. And okay. Yeah. All right, this map's not too bad. Like, I mean, it's coherent at least. Yes. Sometimes those ASCII maps can be hard to read. There we go. Another crust graph. Man, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna be loaded with more spells after this. All right. Stop moving. <laughs> uh, where was that at? Okay. Uh, the easiest is uh, go east. Keep going east. Keep going east. North. Did we pick up a warrior vest? Um, I don't believe we did. Okay. Oops. I don't know if we grabbed that one either. We might have. We'll see, I guess. Do I still go north here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. East. East, as far east as you can go. There we go, Warrior Vest. I think that's for Rudy, then, when he comes back in the group. Alright, north. The only way you can go. And then keep going north. Until you can't go north no more. Yeah, it makes sense, it's just kind of... It's different. <laughs> a little different. And by different, I mean I haven't looked at a map like this in, like... <laughs> well over ten years. <laughs> this was... This is, like... Game Facts, like, just getting... Yeah, 2003? Yeah. Yeah, this is, like... Like, old school... Type. Old school game packs, yeah. <laughs> this was like when my dad printed me out a walkthrough for Chris's playthrough of Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Go south there. Okay. It's really nice. This map I'm looking at here. The guy put little hyphens for when there's a screen break. So it makes it a little easier to tell where you're going. Or how to tell you where to go, I should say.
So we can go to the save point again, or we can continue on? We should be able to just continue on. I don't think we need to go to the save point. Back to the save point. That's right, because this is the way out. Yep. Yep. All right. That wasn't too bad. No. Ah, thank Look you. Look at for... me doing Ragnats's job. Yes. Like a champ. Thank you for helping with that. Mm hmm. <laughs> the next gift for Jade will be another monitor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the female gave me my Christmas present early. Ooh. I just posted the video, viewers. <laughs> well, it's I a think. New mic. Uh, I think you want. You want to take a little break here? Yeah. It's okay. been about an hour. Sounds yep. like a plan. All right. Give us just a couple minutes, and we'll be back. I'm playing a game.